Welcome to Electron Line. and our next uh, video here gives us an example of how we use the bulk modules. Again, the bulk modules, by definition, we use the letter B, is the ratio of the bulk stress divided by the bulk strain, the stress, uh, the spelling error here, strain, not stain. And so the stress, of course, is the ratio of the force of our per unit area, which is another way of saying pressure. And the bulk strain is the ratio of the change in the volume divided by the original volume. Of course, it's negative because the volume gets smaller. It's a negative, negative change in the volume. So how much will, let's say, in this example, uh, let me explain what I've just drawn on the board here. Here's the ocean. Let's say it's the Pacific Ocean. We have a ship at the surface, and we're doing an experiment. We're lowering this, this uh, deep sea submersible, so what it's called, all the way down to the deepest part of the ocean, which is found off the coast of the Philippines called the Mariana Trench and at the very bottom of the trench you're 11,000 meters below the surface of the water which is about seven miles down so you need a very long cable in order to lower a submersible in there and yes they've done that they've actually sent people down there to take a look around not a lot to see of course at that depth pretty dark uh, but it was something that they had to do now the question is what will be the change in the volume of a let's say cubic meter of water at the surface if you take a cubic meter of water you can bring all the way to the bottom how much will the volume of that cubic meter change all right for that we need of course a delta v and we need the compressibility of water which we can then turn into the bulk modulus by simply taking the inverse of that so let's do that let's take the inverse of that so we get um, so the bulk modulus for water would be 2.18 times 10 to the 9th so the bulk modulus for H2O is equal to 2.18 times 10 to the 9th Pascals so I simply took the compressibility since of course compressibility is the inverse of the bulk modulus that means the bulk modulus is the inverse of the compressibility so now that we have that and we have an equation for the bulk modulus let's solve that for delta V so here we go here we go B is equal to the force per unit area divided by the negative change in the volume over the original volume. Now, I forgot my BV here. All right, there we go. Which, of course, can be written as B is equal to force divided by area times the inverse of this denominator, which is V sub naught over delta V. And, of course, we want the negative there. Which means that if we solve that for delta V, we get minus delta V is equal to the force per unit area times the original volume divided by the bulk modulus. And, of course, the force per unit area, since we're talking about going down into a liquid, we could talk about the pressure. We could say the change in the volume is equal to the pressure at that depth times the original volume divided by the bulk modulus. So for the original volume, we're just going to take a cubic meter of water. So what is the pressure at this great depth in the oceans? Well, it turns out that the pressure in a liquid is equal to rho g h. h, of course, being the depth in the liquid. So even though we like to use h, or sometimes we use y, in liquids we go negative for a positive depth. So the deeper we go, the bigger h is, the greater the pressure. So we're going to plug that in there. So minus delta v is equal to the density times g times the depth. Uh, we'll call it y instead of h maybe that's easier to swallow so we go down a depth of y into the ocean the original volume divided by the bulk module so now let's go ahead and plug in some numbers the density of ocean water is a little bit more dense than the density of of uh, uh, lake water it's a thousand thirty kilograms per cubic meter g of course nine point eight meters per second squared Y, the depth of 11,000 meters. And the original volume is uh, one cubic meter. So that was by definition. We're just going to use that. And now, of course, the bulk modules, we just calculated. We're going to divide the whole thing by 2.18 times 10 to the 9th Pascals. Notice that if I had left it in terms of compressibility, I would simply say the change in volume is this times the compressibility instead of divided by the bulk modulus but I just want to do it like this so now take the inverse of that again so we get back to the compressibility times 10,030 times 9.8 times 11,000 
and times 1. So that gives us minus delta V is equal to a minus, because I put the minus over here, we get a minus 0 0.05 meters cubed. So if the original volume was 1 meter cubed and the change in volume was 0 0.05 meters cubed, which is, if you think about it, 5% of 1 cubic meter, in other words, the water has been compressed by 5% of its original volume by the time we get to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. So one cubic meter at the surface of the water pushed down to the bottom is now only 0.95 cubic meters. So the new volume is only 95% of the original volume when it was up there. And that's how we use the bulk modules to calculate things like that. So we'll, do, we'll show you another example or two to get a better feel for it. But here's a very nice one.